More tonight from an interview you'll see only on Eyewitness News. A man looking to restore his name after being found not guilty of a charity scheme. I did not know that it was a scam. Matthew Murphy tells us he thought he was taking part in a legitimate fundraising effort for the Gloria Gemma Breast Cancer Foundation. While he's been cleared of criminal charges, Murphy tells us his reputation is another story. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado has more of our exclusive interview. After being found not guilty, Matthew Murphy told us he was duped by the other men still charged in this fraud case. It all started with this photo, posted on social media in July by the Cranston Police Department and quickly circulated. Police were looking for the man in the pink shirt, Matthew Murphy, who turned himself in when he saw it. It's really, really frustrating knowing that, you know, I went to go do something charitable and now I am suffering the consequences from it. Murphy and two others were accused of fraudulently collecting donations under the false pretenses they were part of the Gloria Gemma Breast Cancer Resource Foundation. I lost my job over it. Murphy has now been cleared of all charges, and he'd like to clear his name in the public's eye, too. People are telling me that, you know, I'm a lowlife and no good, and that, you know, I should burn in hell. Murphy says one of the other men charged in the case asked him to help out for the day at a charity table at St. Mary's Feast. Judging by the Gloria Gemma banner and pamphlets on the table, he thought it was a legitimate fundraiser. I thought it was legit, and it looked legit, so, you know, if it walks like a duck, it talks like a duck, it must be a duck. Alan Pond and Sheldon Luther are still facing charges in the case. Murphy is now just trying to move on. I can't even get a job because people are saying that um, bad things about me. I'm not a scumbag that everyone thinks I am, and I'm, don't ever judge a book by its cover. And we reached the office manager at the foundation. She says they wish Murphy well. I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.